What's going on YouTube? Wanted to bring you this quick update of my 29 gallon reef tank. Changed quite a few things around. Uh, mainly probably the first thing you'll see is those media reactors on the top left. They're gone. All the corals along the bottom there on the sand bed, they're all gone. I've just uh I moved all those towards the back so you really can't see them. Uh I seen somebody on YouTube, I don't know who it was, but uh you know, they were talking about having the corals on the ground or the sand bed kind of makes it look a little ghetto. You know, I I really didn't think so at first, but as I started adding a whole bunch of them, I was like, man, you know, it really does look kind of ghetto. So, I moved those. Uh, what else did I do? Oh, I added this. Let me get a close-up real quick. I added this pretty sweet anemone. Uh, come on, focus. It's that rainbow anemone. Bubble tip. It's probably, well, hell, I don't know how big it is, but I think it's about size of a softball when it's fully open up and uh, I got it for 60 bucks and I actually got a second one of these that's probably about the size of a grapefruit that was included in the 60 bucks and then I also got uh, this this SPS I don't know what the hell it's called but it's freaking huge but it's super, it's super cloudy in here right now. I've stirred everything up and cleaned it out the best I can. So all I got right now is change this heater to the original one I had. The, uh, oh hell, what is it? Aquion Pro Heater. Which, it's not the best one, but, you know, it'll do for now. Get my chair. Yeah, it'll do for now until I get a, uh, either a Cobalt or a uh, Phoenix titanium one. Oh, yeah, that's the, my top off bucket there. Yeah, all the fish are kind of freaked out a little bit. They don't know what the hell's going on. Their their world just changed. But they're not too bad. Yeah, I had that devil's paw right there, and just all kinds of other corals up front that I moved. To the back, they really can't see them. All the clams, they're all right there, pretty pissed off. Yeah, you can see that stuff just floating in the water column. Look at that. Tried my best to even out the sand up front, and I really can't get too much. You know, I don't want to spread all that out and stir up more right now so I'm just kind of letting it settle and I'll do it again another day yep so mostly everything was you know in the same spot except for a few of them uh, the ones that are on the sand bed some of them moved up top and the rest of them are up back or up back <laughs> I really hope these clowns start to host hell I got three anemones in here you can see one of them back there and the other one's right down beside it the uh, Sherman Rose bubble tip Octo spawns are pretty much done uh, releasing their slime oh yeah in this corner here uh, a while back, let me see. I don't think he's gonna be there anymore, but let's see. Oh yeah, I can't even get in there. Uh, like right in this corner, like right there. I saw it was either an amphipod or isopod. I'm I'm not sure. I really don't know those. But that sucker was about half an inch, just kind of walking along the uh, the the sand bed. Look like a centipede or a millipede. 
Let me see here real quick if I can adjust this. Oh no, I guess I can't. Oh, there we go. Whoa, that's too bright. Yes. I guess that'll be alright. Yeah, that's kind of... Man, I can't... I can't really get my camera settings the way I want to. I got a decent camera. Canon T4i. It's not too old, but... I just can't really get the picture I want yep got the mp10 doing the wave right now you can see that water is pretty cool it just moves it in a crazy way like if you don't have one you just don't understand it's it's pretty wicked it's the most natural flow that you know emulates the ocean of course, I'm sure all y'all know that anyways, for the most part. Yep, no dosing. Well, I'll take that back. I put uh, five mils of acro power in here every Sunday. It doesn't just help out the acros, but it, you know, it helps out everything, honestly. Softies, LPS, SPS. Ever since I started putting it in there, like these polyps there, they have not retracted in. I mean, even in the nighttime, I'll get up, they're out. It's a uh, candlelight acropora. And this guy here, my bird's nest. Let's see if I can zoom in. There we go. You can see that that burnt tip on the top left. I had my Hollywood Stunner Chalice too close to it and it just it stinged it and man that happened within like five minutes. It's pretty crazy. I might have to get like the noodle strainer and put that anemone in there and with the clown and I mean they they kinda act interested in it but they're just they're not wild caught they're just uh aquaculture they don't know what the hell an enemy is and all that stuff hell to them that skimmer i had in there that was their home really but i took that out really wasn't using it yeah i caught them fighting earlier Playing dominance, that little one was. She's kind of weird. Like, she'll go up in the opposite corner, and there's like some silicone hanging down. I guess she has to bite it just to check out what it is. There he goes. Chasing or checking it out too. At least I think he's a he. I don't. I don't know yet. I think I've had him. Um, let's see here. I probably had him about four or five months now. Both these clowns. Um, quite a few people have been asking me if I'm still using Vibrant. I still dose it. Probably. Once a week, you know, I don't I don't dose it too much. But I really think the the secret to my success with Vibrant was not necessarily Vibrant itself. Uh but if you go back and watch my four or five videos, however many I got up there on a Vibrant, you can see where I have that frag rack and just all kinds of freaking algae all over it and like even inside the the PVC on my frag rack there is just ungodly amounts of algae that was in there and once I took that out you know I took all the algae out and I you know cleaned the rocks up took all the algae off the rocks and the sand bed 
you know, and the frags and all that stuff. I mean, the algae pretty much went away. My phosphates, I believe right now they're 0 0.06, which, you know, a lot of people tell you to do 0 0.03 or under, which, I mean, if you go too low, that's bad. Everything's going to start dying. Corals need nutrients to grow. I mean, I'm not a professional. This is just kind of what I've learned on forums and, you know, stuff like that. If you don't have any phosphates, everything's going to die. So, my phosphates are at 0 0.6. Every now and then, I'll get... Let's see if I can see any spots here. I'll get these kind of brown spots, kind of like right there where my finger is. There's a little brown spot it's on the the uh, the uh, substrate or sand bed. I keep on getting substrate and sand bed mixed up. Uh, used to be in fresh water, and you call it substrate, and now since I'm in salt water, you call it sand bed. So you might hear me refer to it as substrate. That's just, I just mean the sand bed. But yeah, I'll siphon that out with a tube and a, a hose that I kind of rigged up. Yeah, watch this guy. And then it'll go away for a little while, but then it'll kind of come back. What I hope to eventually do is pretty much have no sand. You know, that's my ultimate goal. You know, I, I thought that this six line wrasse needed a sand bed to go to sleep in. And, you know, I was wrong. Some wrasses do, but six line wrasse doesn't. Matter of fact, that hole right there by where that snail is, that hole to the left of it, he sleeps right in there. Like at night when I get up, middle of the night, give me a snack or something, I can see his tail hanging out there. And he's dead asleep too. Because I'll put my phone on there. I, I saw it the first time and saw his green tail. And I was like, what the hell is that? So see that hole he just went in through? He goes in there and then somehow reverses back into that hole right there. It's pretty, pretty wicked. Like if I turn these lights down, he, uh, probably about within a minute, you're going to see him go in his hole and go to night night. He's pretty cool. I, I think he's probably probably my favorite fish in here. He's so active and he's just I've been looking at him. I, I don't even know where he went. I can't even keep up with him. And focus at the same time. There we go. Yeah, I'm all over the place though. Little red dragon right there by the fish. Look at him, he's kinda he's surfing. He does that almost all day, every day. All day, every day. Let's see if I can catch him. Come on, go. Dang, look at that. <laughs> Going in his little bed. There he goes. He's the most active fish. Yeah, look at those waves. Gone. <laughs> Anyways. My blue damsel. Springer damsel. Springer E or however you say that. Yeah, I've uh I've noticed a little bit of hair algae starting to come back. Just a little bit. I uh I took my two reactors offline like I told you it had GFO and the other one had some uh, uh what are they called some little media balls the little plastic media balls <laughs> I took those off it's pretty bulky this this tank don't need it it's just uh just too much for it everything hanging off the side looking like crap and I don't have room for a sump. I mean, here's my setup. Let me scoot back here. So 
so that's it right there it's right where my window is it's kind of messy right now I got all this junk stacked up from cleaning it and water changing it but I don't know if you can see that and that's the floor that's it I don't have no room for a sump I thought about putting putting one there or wherever, behind the fan but you know I'm just gonna stick to the plan of the hundred gallon right here that's my uh, uh, QT tank for my corals if they ever get algae I put them in there and work on them in there so they don't mess up the 29 gallon tank my little reef tank and there's the frag tank all right let me show you this other coral that I got for 60 bucks with those two anemones so that right there that piece right up front right there from here where's it at from here to there it's crazy I forgot the name of it and oh I almost fell here's that other anemone now this net pot here is five inches and he's all scrunched up to hardly nothing he's kinda down in the side there I want him to attach to some rocks but I guess he has other plans yep so back to the reef tank blurry reef tank I got the Mars aqua Oh, that does not want to zoom in. Mars Aqua, 165 watt, full spectrum light. We gotta turn this back down. Whoa, going lower, 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 lower. <laughs> Too bright. I enjoy it it's cool relaxing and a freaking lot of work I just spent uh, let's see what time is it 10 o'clock I've probably spent five hours today just cleaning this up and water change I'm still not even done I got to clean up the mess it's pretty addicting and very expensive. Wish this guy would grow here a uh, gold hammer, yellow hammer. Wish he would grow. Let's get the top down of that an enemy. Let's see how good we can get it. Whoa. definitely nice but pretty much 20 bucks and yeah, now you can see all the stuff in the back that's that devil's paw it's a hairy mushroom digitata Forest fire digitata, torches. Uh, I think that's a hell. I forgot. Some kind of cyphastria, I think. Something like that. Neon green torch, super bright. Another 
It's a fast trailer looking thing. Oh yeah, you haven't seen that yet. That's my uh, finger leather. It's another finger leather. There's those two anemones. They split, or one of them split, and then the second one. You know, I wish they kind of go like right there. They got the room. That's where they started off, right there. There's my Duncan, my Aussie Duncan, my hammers and frog spawns. And back to that right there. There's a clam. Let's see if they close up. Yeah, look at the polyp extension on that. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. I'm trying to catch it. It moves too fast. There he is. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. some food don't you yep uh oh time for the lights to cut off whoa it's got super quiet all of a sudden that was the chair <laughs> Everybody before they go to bed. I guess since I'm rambling on. Anyways, back to that uh, vibrant before the light cuts off. So once I took that algae out, you know, I still dosed vibrant, you know, pretty heavily for at least a month or two. And I just kind of relaxed up on it. And everything's fine. I mean, my rocks are green as hell, but... You know, there's no, like, algae that much. I got a little hair algae. I mean, you have to look for it to find it. But that, that Vibrant, the one thing it did do was this glass. I mean, you, you don't have to clean it hardly at all. Like, it really kept that glass super clean. There's the other apex light you can see in the reflection. <laughs> yup. Tank is doing great. All I'm doing right now is feeding LRS Refrenzy and Ocean Nutrition. Uh, what are they? Reef Flakes or something like that. Well, I guess that means I got to shut up and end the video. I can record these lights. <laughs> Screw it. Since I'm already almost to 25 minutes, let me take you on a quick tour of the Fido and Copapai culture. Bam, look at that. It's kind of hard to adjust this bright, but I got some tiger pods. Ooh, more tiger pods. Some Sin City Brew Nano Phytoplankton from uh, Todd's Pods. We got Tisby Pods. And this is that two liter there is just Fido that I've been trying to see if I can just shake the bottle, you know, every time I come in here instead of putting the airstone in there. 
wondering if it kind of make the the same you know what let me try something it'll do the, the same thing if it'll still produce there we go that's a lot better yep look at that color looks good good and dark It is. Well, I guess you can't see. 80.2 degrees at the top of everything, so that's pretty good. I have my brine shrimp. I just started up tonight. I'm gonna feed the fish tomorrow. Or gut load them, then feed the fish. So, yeah. Everything's cool. Got a ton of projects. Hope to be making a little bit money back off this pretty soon. Let's see if you can see the actual pods here. Get a little closer. Yeah, I need my uh, macro lens. There you go. You can see some right there. There's a ton of them in there. Tiger pods, pretty crazy. Yeah, I think I might need to up that air. I don't know. Don't seem like they're going like they're supposed to. guess we'll find out yeah I would try to get these Tisby pods but man they're just hard as hell to see even with the naked eye but yeah it's everything with the whoops come on zoom in now with the fluval dual t5 48 inch light 64k bulbs it's got everything going Alright guys, I guess I'll end this here. I don't have much else to say. You've seen pretty much every tank and every fish related item in my house. So I'll talk to you guys later. And if you watch this whole thing, you're super bored. <laughs> talk to y'all later.